Finally, I can stop calling him Toby now, cause Obito is finally unmasked. What's up, guys? Here's my episode review for 343. Finally, he has been unmasked in, in a boss way. I don't really think that he they, like I think it was gonna be like a regular unmasking like they did in the manga, but the anime actually made it seem action packed, and it was just amazing. Like Kakashi, it's really showing that Kakashi's strategies are really. He's like figuring out everything, just tricking Obito, I can call him that now, tricking Obito in so many ways, he just, he wasn't seeing it coming. So we finally got the unmasking, how freaking Naruto was, uh, was playing whenever he did the Biju Dama at him to just get his whole, whole body into the dimension. Then Kakashi used the Kamui, the, the to put a clone into the dimension to Rasengan on him and that was amazing strategy right there so we finally got Obito unmasked that's, that's what I've finally seen so I'm stuck on Toby now everybody knows who's Obito now no more of these theories these whack ass theories of who he could be he's Obito now people who watch the anime only so we did have a recap from Kakashi Gaiden and it was like a pretty long one, but I guess it was pretty needed because Kakashi Gaiden was like pretty while back, so it was kind of necessary to actually add that in here so we would actually know, you know, what Abito, Abito went, went through and leaving the anime watchers questionable about how he actually survived. And yeah, so in the Kakashi Gaiden recap, it basically is showing Obito's life how he was like actually never actually beat anyone until like the very very end where he you know killed that one guy and that's it and so Kakashi was kind of troubled about wondering who he was he was thinking that it was Obito he was he, he had so much knowledge backing it up that it could be Obito because there definitely was um he had his right left Sharingan and then he had the left Sharingan and the Renegon so it was kind of you know skeptical about that because wondering why he only had one Sharingan from the original mask, the orange mask he had. So then, um, with the, with the new mask, he had one Sharon gun with a Renegon. So he was able to actually piece it together how he, how their Kamui um, dimensions were linked together, and how they had, you know, resembled Sharon gun had had the same Sharon gun, and it all came together. And so, him being a mask, Kashi was basically just like, like. He basically shocked to see Obito because he thought that he was dead from the boulder crushing him and everything. So Kakashi's really just kind of shocked right now. And the whole reason that Obito is doing all this is because Kakashi let Ren die. And that is what he said. And it was just a shocker to Kakashi because I feel a bit better that now that it's Obito now because, you know, it feels kind of like, I feel like. The connection between Toby and Obito wasn't really syncing it very well. And now since he's unmasked, I can actually like see Obito to Obito now, which is like kind of like feels into his character. He was always this nice guy who helped out people. Who you know he got mad at Kakashi a little bit. He was like Naruto. He and then Kakashi was like Sasuke. So so that where it came in. So. I can now see the resemblance of him now and we can actually see how he became this bad person how he changed his mind about, every, about everything and actually seeing what he's going through so now and what one thing that I was kind of like felt as a good change was Obito's voice actor now when he had the mask on his voice was a bit deeper and I was guessing that it was a little deeper because of the mask but whenever the mask I took off, his voice changed. Like it's like it's not like it's kind of deep, but it's not, but not that loud as it was with the last one. But I feel like it was a good change because um, I feel that 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 voice wouldn't have fit Obito a mask. So the voice actor change was kind of a kind of bit better. And also at the end, here comes Madara Uchiha. He just randomly appears on the battlefield when Naruto them are at. So that can only mean that he has dealt with the Kage's, escaped from the Kage's because 
I mean, if he has dealt with the calculus already, I feel that the, that, that that battle wasn't as you know action packed as it could have been. Like, um, because in the like, you remember from what, what was it, the opening number fourteen, I think, where we had the middle Kage going in for attacks. That would have been much better than actually them just getting pushed around all the time, because it at least did a little bit of damage, and then like he was playing with them, and then just you know just get tired of them and finish them off. So, what do you anime watchers think? Do you think that um, Madara has dealt with the Kages, or escaped from the Kages, or just you know I don't know? So the only uh, only reason. That would be able to like, I mean, like Kage wouldn't let them him escape because they probably dealt with already. So we have Madara on the field. In next episode, we get the connection between Madara and Obito because Madara knows Obito, so there has to be some link between them to actually figure out how they know each other. So overall, this episode was great. I can finally start calling him Obito again for you anime watchers. I tried not, I didn't spoil anything from the past episode by calling him Toby and people were kind of skeptical about that but still it was my choice and so thank you guys for watching I give this episode a 9 it was a great episode really looked really loved it due to like it was action it had some story some recap it was just perfect so thank you guys for watching be sure to thumbs up for Toby's unmasking Obito Uchiha, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.